The economy is very strong. Powell doesn't look convinced of what he's saying. And against the backdrop of an extremely tight labor market and high inflation, the committee anticipates that ongoing increases in the target range for the federal funds rate will be appropriate. So the Federal Reserve has decided to raise interest rates between a quarter percentage point and a half percentage point. But after watching this press conference, I'm not convinced Jerome Powell believes this will be the solution to current inflation. Do you think it's possible that the Fed's estimates of the lowest sustainable unemployment rate may have been too high? Absolutely. <laughs> So what does raising interest rates have to do with inflation and the target unemployment rate? I would like to hear Jerome Powell's response to the same question, especially when it comes to current inflation, but usually it goes something like this. When we raise interest rates, it becomes more expensive to borrow money, less people will take out loans and invest in their businesses or start new ones. This means less growth in the economy and more people will become unemployed. Then we have many people competing for the same jobs, and this will drive wages down, meaning people have less money to spend on goods, which decreases demand. This also means that with less people working, less people will have money, also decreasing demand and driving prices back down. Of course, the objective is to achieve price stability while also sustaining a strong labor market, and that, that is our overall objective. But we do feel the economy is very strong and well positioned to withstand tighter monetary policy. The Federal Reserve has given itself two options for making monetary policy, raising interest rates and decreasing interest rates. It's extremely outdated to still be relying on the Phillips curve to describe the dynamics of inflation, making monetary policy with the assumption that there's an inverse relationship between unemployment and inflation. Economists within the United States and around the world have described the dynamics of inflation to be much more complex than this. And while Jerome Powell doesn't necessarily agree with them, he does say that the Fed often gets the target figure wrong. So we overshot in what our long run unemployment rate is. I think we've learned, as you pointed out, I think we've learned uh, that you can't identify, this is something you can't identify directly. I think we've learned that it's lower than we thought, substantially lower than we thought mm -hmm. in the past. And I've, I've been seeing lately that economists are increasingly worried that the idea of a Phillips curve that links unemployment and inflation is no longer describing what is happening in today's economy. Have you been considering on that? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, very much so. We spend a, a great deal of time on that. The, the connection between um, slack in the economy or the level of, of unemployment and inflation was very strong if you go back 50 years, and it's gotten weaker and weaker and weaker to the point where it's, it's, um, it's a faint heartbeat. There are concerns that having more people unemployed and driving wages further down could bring us into a recession. So unless we get the pandemic under control, resolve the supply chain issues, and Russia gets out of Ukraine, we likely won't see dramatic change in our current inflation. So maybe Jerome Powell looked the way he did in this press conference because he's just as worried about the limits to what the Federal Reserve can do to get current inflation under control.